Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Follow the page. You go, go, man, go follow all the medias, man. Make sure you like, comment, talk to me a little bit, baby. We're going to talk back. Make sure you're talking. But right here, we got the badges. Now, we got the badges. One of the first things everyone does when they pick up a new version of 2K is experience with building a new player. That's what we like. We love my player right now. I ain't going to lie. I don't even go play with I don't even go play the quick match mode. I ain't played one quick match game all year. I, I don't play it as much. I honestly hop on and hop on my, my player and get straight to it. This year, the major goals for the player builder were refinement, polish, and balance. You still have complete control to build any type of player you want, but the new builder ensures that all builds regardless of size. All right, so you can, it sounds like they're trying to make it balanced, right? That's what they sound like they're trying to do. They don't want to have you being able to dunk, shoot, play defense, and, you know, dribble. They don't want you to be able to do everything. That's going to make your build a little limited, but if it's balanced, people love that 16, 17 because it was balanced. Uh, I think that, I think it'll be straight. I think, ah, uh, it's going to be different. I know when they try to do it with the pie chart, people's like, man, I spent $50 and my build can only shoot and dunk. Now I can't, now I can't, I, I can't dribble or play defense. You know what I'm saying? So they was... It's going to be interesting how that balance happened because they let us be so powerful with them other players. The 5-on-5 five five environment used last year to test work and progress player builds. It also now coming by a 3-for-3 three three environment. For new gen players, this is especially useful if you love to hoop in the city course. I ain't talking about nothing. Another huge addition to the build system. Animation purchases will now be account bound rather than specific to save one file. In other words, if you, oh, if you purchase, this is a big one. This is a big one. If you can... I might be trying to get y'all a glitch right here. You might can glitch the system. You might can glitch the badges already because in other 2Ks, this is how this works. If you purchase the animation for your play shot build, it would then be available to equip on your slasher build, assuming your player meets the animation requirements. At the beginning of the game, this type of stuff be messed up. So you you might be 6'10 with 6'1 dribbles. because but So if you go get a 6'1 and purchase all the animations at the beginning, go start trying to glitch the build. And I'm letting you know now... And if they catch you cheating and they snitch on you, and you ain't here for me, right? you ain't here for me. But normally that's how that works. They say, they say, assuming your player meets all the requirements, eh, I don't know if that's gonna work. It never worked in 2K, but until they patch it, so it might not be patched at the beginning. I don't know. For current gen users, you're no longer limited by the pie chart build system. So I think now it's it's gonna be the same. The builder's gonna be the same. So the the next gen and the, and the current gen they're gonna be the same. The, the builder's gonna be the same. Which make it, I like I like the the next gen. I I wasn't a fan of the pie charts. What I was saying earlier is I I think they're gonna dumb it down like the pie charts. You know as far as your stats can't be souped up. But essentially I didn't I didn't like I don't know, I, I'm I'm a fan of how the builder is now next gen. It's the 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 builds might be. Bills might be the, the bill system might be good. It might be good. I like it. I like it. 